Hello, today we're going to go over problem 19 from AMC 12A 2018. The question is asking us to evaluate an infinite sum. The uh, terms of the sum are all 1 over integers and all of the denominators are integers that have no prime factors other than 2, 3, or 5. So examples of the denominators are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So we don't include 7, we do not include 11, we do not include 13, we do not include things, of, uh, things like 21, which is 3 times 7, and so on. So the question is how do we evaluate this? First, let's look at the denominators. All of the denominators look like 2 to the a, 3 to the b, 5 to the c. Let's take different values of a in the denominator. Let's say a is 0. If a is 0, then we have the sum of all of the numbers of the form 1 over 3 to the b times 5 to the c. If a is 1, we're going to have sum 1 over 2 times 3 to the b times 5 to the c. Of course, we can factor 1 half and we get the same sum as the case of a equals 0, except with a factor of one half. When a is 2, we get again the same sum as in a equals 0 except for a factor of 1 fourth. That means we can factor from the entire sum a term sum of 1 over 3 to the b times 5 to the c. And what is left is 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and so on. Which means the given sum is equal to the product of these two sums. Now, the first sum is a geometric sum. The second sum is a very similar sum to the original sum, except that the denominators have only two prime factors instead of three. Repeating the same argument, we can write down the second sum as the sum of 1 over 3 to the b times sum of 1 over 5 to the c. These three sums that we are multiplying are in fact all geometric sums. We know the formula for a geometric sum. It is the first term over 1 minus common ratio. Notice that the common ratios are 1 half, 1 third, and 1 fifth, and all of them are between negative 1 and 1, which means we are able to use that formula. So the answer is 1 over 1 minus 1 half times 1 over 1 minus 1 third times 1 over 1 minus 1 fifth. The denominator of the first fraction is going to be 1 half, so that becomes 2. The denominator of the second fraction is 2 thirds, so that becomes 3 halves. The denominator of the third fraction is 4 fifths, so that becomes 5 fifths. Multiplying those, we get 15 over 5. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know if you have a different solution or if there are other types of videos you would like me to make. And I will see you in the next video.